welcome to today's lecture in this video i will discuss about the antihypertensive drug classification hypertension hypertension means persistently elevated or increased blood pressure in the arteries persistently means constant hypertension means constantly elevated or increased blood pressure in the arteries in hypertension systolic blood pressure is greater than 140 mm hg and diastolic blood pressure greater than 90 mm hg over a some period based on the average of two or more bp measurements taken in two or more contacts with healthcare professionals in hypertension over a some period based on the average of two or more blood pressure measurements taken in two or more contacts with healthcare professionals normal blood pressure is 120 by 80 mm hg 120 is the systolic blood pressure 80 is the diastolic blood pressure hypertension is defined as rise in diastolic and systolic pressure hypertension is defined as rise in diastolic and systolic pressure and women with 55 years age women with 55 years of age are more prone to hypertension than men women with 55 years of age are more prone to hypertension than men bp levels increases with age bp levels increases with age bp levels increases with age and it persistently elevated blood pressure levels is very common in the in the el elderly or elder people bp levels increases with age and it persistently elevated bp levels is very common in the elder people reasons for hypertension reasons for hypertension overweight or obesity excessive alcohol consumption and excessive consumption of caffeine related products excess salt intake low intake of fruits stress unhealthy lifestyle tobacco use and genetics and family history reasons for hypertension overweight or obesity alcohol consumption consumption of caffeine related products excess salt intake low intake of fruits stress unhealthy lifestyle tobacco use genetics and family history antihypertensive drug classification antihypertensive drug means the drugs used in the treatment of hypertension are called as antihypertensive drugs the drugs used in the treatment of hypertension are called as anti hypertensive drugs a drug that used to treat high blood pressure is the anti hypertensive drug and these are drugs used to lower blood pressure in the hypertension anti hypertensive drug classification is classified into seven categories is classified into seven categories first one is the diuretic second one is the calcium channel blockers third one is the ace inhibitors fourth one is the sympathetic inhibitors fifth one is the renin inhibitors sixth one is the angiotensin receptor blockers seventh one is the vasodilators diuretics again classified into three categories first one is the loop diuretics second one is the thiazide diuretics third one is the potassium sparing diuretics first one is the loop diuretics example is the furosemide second one is the thiazide diuretics example is the hydrochlorothiazide and chlorthalidone and also chlorthalidone potassium sparing diuretics example is the spironolactone second one is the calcium channel blockers 
it is again classified into three categories first one is the phenyl alkylamine example virapamil second one is the benzothiazepine example diltiazem third one is the dihydropyridine example amlodipine felodipine and nephidipine third one is the ace inhibitors ace means angiotensin converting enzyme ACE inhibitors means angiotensin converting enzyme angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors example ramipril quinapril captopril lisinopril etc fourth one is the sympathetic inhibitors sympathetic inhibitors are again classified into four types first one is the beta adrenergic blocker example propranolol or metaprolol and second one is the alpha beta adrenergic blockers example labetalol carbidolol third one is the alpha adrenergic blockers examples prazosin phenoxybenzamine terazosin doxosin doxazosin etc and fourth one is the central sympatholytics central sympatholytics example clonidine and methyl dopa and fifth classification is renin inhibitor example aliskiren fifth cla sixth classification is angiotensin receptor blockers example telmisartan losartan and candisartan seventh one is the vasodilator so again classified into two types atriolar and veno dilators and atriolar dilators atriolar dilators example hydrolysin and mino minoxidil hydrolysin and minoxidil atriolar veno dilator example nitroprusside sodium anti hypertensive drug classification first one is the diuretics is again classified into three types first one is the loop diuretics example furosemide second one is the thiazide diuretics example hydrochlorothiazide third one is the potassium sparing diuretics example spironolactone second classification is calcium channel blockers for is a, again classified into three types first one is the phenyl alkylamine example virapamil second one is the benzothiazepine example diltiazem third one is the dihydropyridine example amlodipine and felodipine and nephidip third one is the ace inhibitors angiotensin converting enzyme example is ramipril quinapril captopril lisinopril etc fourth one is the sympatho sympathetic inhibitors these are again classified into four categories first one is the beta adrenergic blockers metaprolol propranolol second one is the alpha beta adrenergic blockers example labetalol carbidolol third one is the alpha adrenergic blockers examples prazosin phenoxybenzamine terazosin doxazosin etc fourth one is the central sympatholytics example clonidine and methyl dopa fifth classification is the renin inhibitor example aliskiren sixth classification is the angiotensin receptor blockers example telmisartan losartan candisartan seventh classification is vasodilators is again classified into two types atriol dilator hydroxyl and minoxidil second one is the atriolar and vino dilator example nitroprusside sodium 
इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल